In this video, I want to go over the fake binary problem on Code Wars. And what it states is, given a string of digits, you should replace any digit below 5 with 0, and any digit 5 and above with 1. Return the resulting string. Now let's look down here at some examples. This will be the string that they provide us as input, and this will be the string that we return at the end. Essentially, for every integer in this string, we're going to check to see if it's uh, greater than or equal to 5. If it's not, we're going to append 0. So 4 is less than 5, so we pin 0. 5 is equal to 5, so we pin 1, and so on and so forth. Hope that makes sense. The way we're going to solve this is with list comprehension. So I'm going to create a new list called x. And just bear with me for a second. I'll explain to you what this does in a minute. But we're going to do, we're going to append 1. If and only if int i is great, sorry, is greater than or equal to 5. Else, if that isn't the case, we're going to append 0, and we're going to do this for every i in our string x. Now, what this is doing is for every i in x, and if you don't know what this is, i is just going to be, x is our entire string. Every iteration will be a single integer in this string x. So for the first iteration, i will be 4, the next iteration, i will be 5, and so on and so forth. So for every integer in x, what we're going to do is perform a check. Is uh, i, we have to convert it into an integer because we cannot perform comparison checks on strings. So we convert our string uh, i into an integer and check, is it greater than or equal to 5? If that is the case, we append 1. If that isn't the case, we append 0. And that's all that is doing. At the end of this, we have a list of 1s and zeros, but we need to return a string of 1s and zeros. Lucky for us, there's a function in Python called join, so we can return dot join. Sorry about that. What we will return dot join x. What this join function does is it turns lists into strings, with this being the separator between ele every element in our list. So if there was a star between every 0 and 1, there would be a star. We don't want that. We just want empty space. And if we return this, so let's attempt it. Yeah, all 105 test cases passed. So that was the fake binary problem on Code Wars. It was a 8KYU problem, so nothing too difficult. Um, uh, if you found this video valuable and you learned something, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.